Meanwhile, a Dallas woman on her way to Fort Lauderdale got a call from her sister who was there. She was right in the middle of all that chaos. That side of the story tonight, Andrea Lucia speaking to both women. She's live for us over at Dallas Love Field. Andrea? Yeah, these two are taking a vacation together. The one here trying to get out says she was like every other passenger on her flight, clinging to her phone, looking for information, and of course, worried for her sister. Trying to get to Fort Lauderdale. Sandy Starks was stuck on the tarmac here in Dallas, while her sister, Lori Pulford, was already in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, I was in the baggage claim area. Pulford was sitting at baggage claim in Terminal 1 when the shooting started at baggage claim in Terminal 2. Just saw a lot of uh, police cars and ambulance. She looked up at the TV screens to learn shots were fired not far away. She was searching for a ride out yeah, when there was a second scare. I thought I had heard um, just two loud bangs. So what they ended up being, I don't know. But everybody ran out the doors and just started, you know. I actually went and got behind a police car that was out there. And then the policemen all started running in. She called her sister. I said, just get out of there, get out of there. Pulford never saw any gunfire, but her being so close to it rattled Starks. I was petrified for her. <laughs> yeah. I'm just glad that she's okay. <laughs> After two hours, Starks' own flight to Fort Lauderdale was canceled. She's now hoping to catch up with her sister there by tomorrow morning. I'm going to hug her. <laughs> I'm going to hug her hard. <laughs> A Dallas police increased security here at Dallas Love Field today, adding extra officers in an attempt, they told us, to make travelers feel safe. Reporting live, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.